Hey guys, what's good? Mike here, Laker Talk. Just got finished watching this uh, Houston Rockets and Lakers game. Uh, Lakers lost, which is fine with me. Lakers seem to be back in their tank mode ways over the last few games. Um, nothing really to write home about. You know, Kobe's been banged up. I said earlier on in the year that he should retire All-Star break. I truly believe that. I think he, we should just throw him a party and just have him move on after the All-Star break and we just kind of move on with our lives. Um, I, I doubt that will happen, though. Um, but, uh, you know, Nance is hurt. Gave Julius Randle his starting job back. Really did really well tonight. Looked really comfortable. Double-double. I think he should be starting. Um, D'Angelo Russell has kind of been out of it. Like, not really having an impact on the game. He's been putting up double-digit numbers. Like, he had 12 points today. Five assists. But... Not really an impact on the game. Had a lot of turnovers, like six turnovers. He's just kind of like over the last couple games playing kind of like, blah. Um, I really need him to be aggressive offensively. You know, I, I, I just think he has a really good offensive game in, in a sense that he can shoot the ball from three. I just need, I, I think he just needs to be really more aggressive. Stop trying to pass the ball to these idiots and uh, just kind of take over the game, you know. Um, that's my opinion. Um, um, who else? I, I've been getting on Anthony Brown. You know, the thing is, when I watch Anthony Brown, I don't know, my standards are high. People are like, leave him alone, Mike. You know, but my standards are high that um, I don't think, I, I, I said this, I don't think he belongs in the league. I think he's slow defensively. People say he's good defense. I'm like, I don't know what they're seeing. He can knock down a couple of threes in garbage time. He's not really having a, a huge impact on the game. I don't see any athleticism from him. I don't know. I'm not just. I'm not big on Anthony Brown, to be honest with you. Um, Marcelo Huertes, he needs to get kicked out of the league. Uh, Ryan Kelly, I don't even know what. He should be sent back to D-League. I don't know why we're not playing Turek Black. Um, I don't know. There's an article that came out today. We're looking to shop Hibbert. Thank you. Somebody said, does he have any value left? I'm like, I don't care. Give me a bag of chips and some chicken wings for Hibbert, and I'm good. As long as I don't have to watch him every game, I'll be really happy. Um, you know, nothing really going on. We play Kings on Wednesday, play the Spurs on Friday. I don't know. Um, hit me, hit, check, check back with me on my next video. I might be, I'm going to be shooting another video. I want to talk about... Ben Simmons and Brandon Ingram. Um, people are opening up, and, and I think people are like like me. They're opening up to the fact that Brandon Ingram might be a better pick for us over Ben Simmons because of the offensive abilities of you know he's got a shot. He can he's a he's a obviously we need a three, and I think his game will translate well over to the NBA because he has a jumper. He can put the ball on the floor. He's tall, though he's a little under. He's a he's a little skinny, which is which is like yeah. He needs to bulk up a little bit, but I don't think he will. I think he has a frame like a Kevin Durant, and you know though Kevin Durant is bony and frail, it hasn't really hindered his game in the NBA. So we'll see. I'll, I'll talk about this more in another video, um, but yeah, I, I'm not I'm not I'm not mad at the fact that. Brandon Ingram might be available for us if we continue to sit in this number two slot and we get a number two pick. Um, I really like that idea. So um, anyway, check out the next video. I'll be putting on another video probably tomorrow. I'm going to talk about them more. And um, what was the other topic I wanted to touch on? Uh, Brandon Ingram, Ben Simmons. That's it for now. Until something else come out, thanks for watching my YouTube channel and all my videos and subscribing to my YouTube channel. And uh, as always, hit me up on Twitter at MikeSportsLA. You know, during the games and stuff, I like to tweet back and forth with folks. And uh, shout out to all you guys who tweet at me and uh, follow me on Twitter and chat back and forth with me about Lakers and stuff. It's all good, all right? Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk soon. Peace.